Hi guys, welcome to my channel Adrian Perfumes. Thank you very much for being here and checking the channel out. Today I have a new release from Jean-Paul Gaultier, one of the most anticipated releases of the year 2023 is Le Mal Elixir. Got in my collection a few days ago. I tested and I'm ready to share with you my thoughts on this fragrance. So let me start with the presentation. The bottle looks like this. It's probably one of the nicest bottles in the Le Mal line. Is the gold color. This is ribbed. I don't know if you can hear this. The glass, it's gold brown. I'm gonna put the light with the phone behind. I don't know if you can see it. It's see-through. It's really, really nice. So, what is the scent profile? And here I'm gonna compare it a little bit with the um, Le Mal Parfum. On the opening, you get the mint and the lavender, same like the Parfum. But this lasts only for like 15 to 20 minutes, because after that, the elixir moves in a completely different way. It becomes a fragrance that it's cozy and warm, eatable, so it's gourmand, and it has powerful notes of vanilla, honey, and gets a lot of depth and courage from the tobacco note. And the tobacco note, it's very, very important because it holds the fragrance not to go over sweet. And also has a projection beast mode, which I will get a little bit later. So let me give you the notes really quick because they're not that many. So we have lavender and mint on the top. On the middle, we have vanilla and benzoin. And benzoin also smells like vanilla. And on the base, we have honey, tonka bean, and tobacco. Now, the performance is like this. You get about two or three hours of projection. This is a very loud, bold fragrance. And the longevity, I pass somewhere like 12 hours. The 13 hour become a skin scent, but it's very, very powerful. I still think this one is more suited for nighttime, cold weather. If you want to wear it during the daytime, you should go easy on the trigger because you're gonna give to everybody a headache. So conclusion, I like the elixir, but the DNA is not something new. It's not something groundbreaking. We saw this one before. It's not something like Le Mal was or Ultra Male, something that really made a difference. But fragrances are like fashion. They follow certain trends. And Jean-Paul Gaultier told us about a year or something ago that it's going in that direction. The sweet, the scandal has the vanilla and caramel. This one has vanilla and honey. So this is probably the trend. If I have to put a note, I will say this is a solid nine out of 10. And I recommend to try it before you buy it. If you like the honey and vanilla and tobacco, definitely this is a fragrance for you. You can purchase via links in my description. You have Amazon, the biggest online retailer for the United States and Europe. In the United States alone, eCosmetics.com, where you can qualify for 15% off on the first purchase. And for UK customers, Notino, the biggest online retailer in UK. Now that I have the fourth Le Mal fragrance in my collection, my next video is going to be the top four, which one I think it's the best Le Mal fragrance for you. Let me know what you think, agree, disagree, like, definitely subscribe, very important. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.